When calculating how much heat cable you need on your roof, one of the first things you wanna do is measure the distance of the area that you're gonna be calculating for. So you'll need a measuring tape and oftentimes I will capture something like a gutter spike to pull my heat cable or to pull my measuring tape across and I'll measure out just shy of the corner of the roof by maybe 12 inches. And right here I've got 14 feet. So in a 14 foot span, if I want my loops to be two feet apart or spaced at two feet, I know I can have seven loops on here. So that's gonna be an easy calculation. The next thing I wanna do is I need to know how high up the roof I need to come. And in this situation, I wanna come up one, two, three, four, five, six shingle exposures and put my clip on the lip of the seventh exposure, which is 34 inches up. The next thing I wanna do is actually use something simple like sidewalk chalk that I can mark the roof with. When I start marking my roof, I'm gonna set this at 24 inches apart for each loop. Every two feet, I'm putting a clip. Now when I get to a point that I wanna calculate how much cable do I need? So I'm gonna go up my seven shingle lips, well, six exposures, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna eyeball the center point and I'm gonna put a clip right there. So now what I can do is easily take my tape measure and do a loop like that. Uh, take, the, take the measuring tape about two inches higher than you need to, and I got 77 inches. Now, at 77 inches, I can easily take that, times it by seven of those, and I know how much cable I need right here. I'm gonna do that calculation right now just for the heck of it. Okay, so that'd be 77 inches times seven loops, 539 divided by 12 inches per foot. 44.9 feet. So I'd round that up to 45 feet. I might even add an extra foot, 46 feet, that I need for this roof edge. That was so easy. Now I could do that again by shortening my size, and if I wanted to go 20 inches, maybe 18. Obviously, I want my loops to fit. So whatever you calculate for your loops, measure one loop, multiply it by the number of the loops, you know how much cable you need. Pretty simple.